We all think of Peoria as an important city, and it is. It's made important by the people and events of our time and the contribution which they make in our modern world. Like the Europeans and our East Coast Americans have long known, history plays an important part in community pride and economic development. Take, for example, the building which we're in today. This is the old Apollo Theater, currently undergoing a restoration and having been unseen for many years. During the restoration, a film was found, taken in 1912, which depicts scenes of Peoria. Like this view of Fulton Street looking toward the river from Jefferson Street. Two businesses located on Jefferson were the Journal at 200 Southwest Jefferson and the Star at 143 Southwest Jefferson. But long before the papers printed the news in English, there was a French influence in Peoria. Peoria has been the home of many famous Americans. Among them is Robert Ingersoll. I'm standing here in the library of Flanagan House, and behind me is his portrait. Mr. Ingersoll was born in 1833 and gained national recognition as an orator and philosopher. He became known nationally as the great agnostic for his views on Christianity and his defense of Darwin's theory of evolution. Mr. Ingersoll's statue now stands in Glen Oak Park. Shown here are a few scenes from Glen Oak Park in our film from 1912. Another famous and favorite green space in Peoria is Grandview Drive. Here is a scene from Grandview Drive overlooking the Illinois River. Many small businesses contributed to Peoria's early economic growth, like the Troy Laundry, shown in this 1912 shot at 917 Main Street. Among the things most influenced was Peoria's architecture. Shown here in our 1912 film are scenes from some early commercial buildings. Shown here is the Coliseum at 515 Northeast Adams Street, the old post office at Main and Monroe, and the Hotel Majestic at 300 Southwest Adams. The city hall represents uh, its Flemish Renaissance design, represents government taking its place in America. And you must remember that people came from countries where there was royal families and monarchies, and they established a democracy here. So then they had to build, they wanted to build something to represent their government. So they did very well. They put in beautiful leaded glass windows, murals, cast iron staircases, handsome oak paneling. This was their representation of American government. Architecture played an important part in the development of Peoria as a regional and national entertainment center. This is the Peoria Musical College in 1912 at 102 Northeast Madison Street. Musicians at the time may have performed at the Shriners Temple. 